السلام عليكم ومرحبا بكم في another video so last time we talked about independent pronouns which mean uh, the, the ones like I, you, he, she, ananta, huwa, hiya and also I talked about the possessive word diel uh, that has the meaning of mine, yours, hers, ours and so on and so forth which is diali, dialek, dialu, diala so the word diel has the meaning of of like literally diel is equal of um, but we add to it possessive pronouns to mean like of me which is like mine for us like if we want to translate it to English okay so this possessive pronouns I haven't done them before and today we're going to talk about it possessive pronouns are very easy you just have to so for example when I say my book in English the my is the possessive pronoun right but in Deja these possessive pronouns we don't have them in the beginning we have them in the end of the word we attach them in the end of the word for example if we took the word ktab which means book it's ending with a consonant if I add to it one possessive pronoun I which mean my so I I will attach it to the end of the word ktab and it will become ktabi which is my book ktabi so the I has the meaning of my okay so ktabi is my book ktabi and then if I want to say your book I will say ktabk ktabk so the k in the end of the word ktab it means your book it means your your and ktab book so we start from the end so we attach the possessive pronouns in the end of each word to have the meaning of my book your book her book and so on okay let's start over to say my book or say ktabi ktabi to say your book in singular is ktabk ktabk to say her book is ktabha ktabha so again in ktabha so ha it has the meaning of her and this is easy because ha is almost as her ktabha her book right okay to say our book i will say ktabna ktabna so now is our ktab of course is the, uh, the book so to say his book i will say ktabu ktabu so o it's his ktab his book his book ktabu ktabu to so say your book in plural i will say ktabkum ktabkum and kum it mean your your plural your book to say their book i will say ktab hum ktab hum so hum has the meaning of their so ktab hum their book ktab hum okay easy right now right so i will repeat the whole ones and organize them as in english so ktab yi ktabi ktabak ktabak ktabu ktabu ktabha ktabha ktabna ktabna ktabkum ktabkum and ktabhum ktabhum so this is when we have the case of a word or a noun and then with a consonant it's like the ktab ending with a b which is consonant but there is a little change if we have a word ending with a vowel specifically either u or o here everything is the same except my and his for example if we took the word stilo ending with o stilo then what I'm going to do in my I will add ya instead of I why because the word ending with O and if I add I 
it will be like still a Y and it's really hard to pronounce for us as a native Arabic speakers. It's not hard, but it sounds weird a little bit and we don't have that sound. So it's going to be stiluya. Stiluya. I add ya instead of I. Okay? And then still look as normal, it doesn't change. It changed only in my and his. So in his, it's going to be stilu. Stilu. We're going to add H in the end of the word stilu to mean his pen. Okay? So I will do them in order again. So stilu ya, stilu ya, stiluk, stiluk, stilu, stilu, stiluha, stiluha. Stiluna, stiluna, stilukum, stilukum, and stiluhum, stiluhum. Okay? Another thing, it sounds like there are too much, but if you're going to get used to them, it's so normal. So, here I told you when it's ending with a vowel U and A, U and um, O, when we have the changes. But if we have in a word ending with a vowel A, which is tamarbota or silent ta, so I will write Arabic scripts over here of the word Medina to say what is the silent ta. So this rounded thing in the end of the Arabic script, it's called silent ta. This silent ta, when we have it t sound in the end of Arabic word, is not pronounced. But if we add something to it after it, a vowel is going to pronounce so when we have a word I will write this uh, Magana in our uh, Magana is a watch by the way so if we have the word watch Magana I will write it in a Latin script over here in Arabic script so in Arabic script it's a silent in Latin words that I use always is the A okay so what we're going to do here, we're going to add the t sound and then add in the, the normal processive pronoun. We just, we're going to keep the t. Okay? And how it's going to be? Like this. Meganti. Meganti. I only add the i. I left, I kept the t. I put the t. That it was silent, but now it's pronounced because something came after it. And it's going to be meganti. The I mean like my, my watch. Meganti, Megantic, Megantic, Megantu, Megantu, Megantha, Megantha, Megantna, Megantna, Megantcom, Megantcom, and Megantom, Megantom. Okay, let's have another example. For example, the word dar. Dar, dar mean house. So to say my house, I will say dari, dari. To say your ho, your house, darak, darak. To say his house, daro, daro. To say her house is darha, darha. To say our house, we say darna, darna. To say your house, plural, I say darkum. Darkum and to say their house is Darhum. Darhum. Okay, good so far. So, uh, let's have another example. Let's see what I have here. Um, for example, to say bla so place in Dalija is Blasa. So Blasa ending with A. Okay. So this A is a tamarbuta actually in the uh, silent T in uh, the Arabic script. So whenever you say A in the end of the word, there is two things. I didn't talk about feminine yet. So every single word that ended with A, which is tamarbuta, is feminine. This is how, we, how you know it's feminine. Except uh, some words which, like for example, the name of uh, girls, which ended with consonants and it's still like that's so normal it's still like um, a feminine so all feminine words and then with a with our tamar boda so whatever we are talking about possessive pronouns now okay 
So I will talk about feminine and masculine later. So blaza is place. Just say my place. I will say blasti, blasti, b blasti. To say your place, blastic, blastic. To say his place, blasto, blasto. To say uh, her plus uh, her place is blasta, blasta. To say our place, blastna, blastna. To say your place, plural, blaskom, blaskom. And to say their place, blastom. Blast home. Good. Make sure to pr to practice this, and um, if you have any question, feel free to ask me, and I will be happy to do that. And if you have any recommendation of uh, uh, future videos that you want to see, uh, just comment down below, and I will make sure to, you know, answer you and do them on time. Okay, I see you in, in next time. Make sure to subscribe and share this video with your friends who want to learn Daddy Ja. You know, you probably know someone. And see you in the next video. Bye.